welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we are drinking Starman Steam Ale. Today we're going to bring to you 1990s Frankenhooker. <laughs> <laughs> Just the name of it, eh? This movie is directed by Frank Henenlotter, and he hasn't really done too much, but he's done some classic horror, yep. and that is Basket Case. <laughs> he did Brain Damage. James Lawrence is in this, and... Uh, uh, he wasn't in a whole lot that's notable, but uh, one movie we got to mention is uh, Street Trash. Frankenhooker starts off, the lead character Jeffrey is at a family gathering with his fiance Elizabeth, and for some reason he's in the kitchen with this weird brain thing <laughs> that's got this eye in it. <laughs> what the what fuck is this? And why did you bring it to a family gathering? And, and no one bats an eye. Oh, Jeffrey's just in the kitchen with his brain thing. <laughs> with the big eyeball yeah. in the yeah. middle of it. It must be her dad's birthday. And Jeffrey made a special gift for him. A lawnmower that can be controlled with a remote. Elizabeth is like, oh, that's so cool. I'm playing with it. And it starts mowing. <laughs> Elizabeth, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Was over her. So Jeffrey is super distraught about Elizabeth's death and he's in his room all by himself with the brain thing. <laughs> his mom comes in because she's concerned. You know, Jeffrey, you gotta get over this. Why don't you go back to med school? You'll find somebody else. But he won't have any of that. He wants to rebuild Elizabeth. And he's trying to like stimulate himself to be able to think a certain way. He takes out this drill and he starts... <laughs> <laughs> no pain, yeah. no blood yeah. or anything. Yeah. Now he sits down and has a nice dinner with Elizabeth's head. <laughs> Feeding her the wine and it's just <laughs> pouring all over the place and pizza for yeah. that nice dish. He needs parts to rebuild Elizabeth. I'll use prostitutes selling their parts and I need parts. He goes out to the red light district. This is good. I like this. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. A lot of good stuff here. Yeah. You got any money? <laughs> yeah. Tells him what he needs. He needs all these women and he says he's got money. So they tell him to talk to Zorro. He's like, oh, I can set you up. I got the best women. Pulls out to like a, a little thing of crack. Ah, okay. The way he's gonna kill these prostitutes is to make a super crack. <laughs> so Jeffrey goes back to the prostitutes, gets them all together in a big hotel room. <laughs> this fucking thing's pissing me off. <laughs> so Zorro is waiting downstairs. This bitch is taking too long. <laughs> of course, he's all muscles. Jeffrey's like sizing them all up, opening their legs. He's like underneath. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great. I like, I like that one. That's that one's great. great. But the thing is, he's kind of hesitant about giving them the crack, right? Because I guess his conscience is getting yeah. the best of him. One of the girls sees the crack and, oh my god, you have crack? He's like, no, no, uh, that's not, no, don't take that, no, no. But they start taking they start it. smoking it. <laughs> they start to explode one at a time. Yeah, the super crack was way too super. It yeah. starts fucking exploding. Them. Super duper crack. <laughs> now he can get the parts that he needs. Those big barrels of the legs. <laughs> yeah. How'd that get in there? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh that's, that's the one I want. Yeah. Dumps all the spare parts and everything back into like his the fucking freezer. <laughs> yeah, with all that purple shit. And he recreates Elizabeth. He yeah. revives her with lightning yeah. from a storm that came by. Yeah. The second she wakes up, have you got any money? You looking for a good time, honey? Yeah. <laughs> and so she's all kind of fucked up yeah. too. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> And so she pushes him out of the way and just takes off. She even has those lift Frankenstein yeah. <laughs> shoes, but they're women versions with those big lifts on them. And so she comes across this poor bastard Patsy guy. He's like, ooh, oh God, yes. While they're like doing it, all this like lightning and everything <laughs> starts. <laughs> He explodes, like he blows <laughs> up. She goes to the bar. Holy shit, girls, it's Johns. A whole shitload of Johns. What the hell is that? <laughs> Poor Zorro is at the other end talking to his friend about all of the bitches that he's lost. Oh, you get him back? Yeah, you get him back. He's like, no, you don't get him, man. They just blew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk more later about them exploding bitches. <laughs> And he notices Elizabeth. He goes down on her. Yeah, under the table. <laughs> and all this lightning and shit starts <laughs> coming out and he, he blows up. up. <laughs> Jeffrey grabs her and they take off and Zorro follows them home. 
and that's where we're gonna end it. So if you wanna see what happens, Jeffrey, Elizabeth, and all the extra body parts that Jeffrey <laughs> has stashed in that freezer. Keep watching Frankenhooker. The comedy for this movie is just fantastic. It's pretty classy considering it's a movie called Frankenhooker. Yeah, it's very well written. Yeah. And the effects are great for this movie too, right? You don't expect it. Lots of exploding bodies. <laughs> right, and they're done well. Yeah. The leg going into the lamp, like the shot <laughs> following the leg. Yeah. And like the head blowing up yeah. and hitting uh, Zorro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> stylistic movie too like it has a certain look it's all vivid lighting and very 90s looking <laughs> right yeah. for the type of movie that it is like being called Frankenhooker yeah you wouldn't expect that type of quality right no not at all like it's very good the acting on especially Jeffrey's part is really good he's a perfect one-man show yeah like he carries the whole it is movie. basically a one-man show yeah if you would have had a different actor, I think it would have been a completely different movie. Like, just yes. the delivery and everything, yeah, right? Yeah. And I love, like, the, the Jersey accent. Yeah. Like, it's super, like, not like a Frankenstein movie. Garage, <laughs> laboratory, and stealing stuff from work. And... <laughs> Everything's got a two-bit. All of the characters in this movie are fantastic. We just mentioned Jeffrey. Like, there's Elizabeth as like the human, as her yeah. human self, which yeah. is good. Yeah. But then as the Frankenhooker, yeah. she's even better. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, like all of the lines that yeah. she says is fucking funny. And, and the delivery too. Yeah. Looking for a day. <laughs> Zorro's great yeah. too, right? He's, even though his acting is kind of, you can tell this guy's not an actor, they, they cast him because yeah. he's a big fucking dude. His poor delivery is funny. And it's what works. And it works, right? <laughs> it works perfectly. Jeffrey's mother, she's a good character and she has that little talk with him and it's kind of like, it's a little heartwarming. Yeah, it kind of breaks yeah. up the yeah. all the comedy, right? Yeah. The story's actually pretty good yeah, for as, this. as silly as it is, as <laughs> stupid as it is, it's a good story. Right, and it all seems to work really well with yeah. itself. They knew how to put this movie together. This movie could easily go off in a whole bunch of different directions. And it could easily be tacky or over Really campy. Right, and it just happens to ride that, yeah. that fine line. The way that Jeffrey tries to rationalize what he's doing, all that stuff like makes the movie a little bit more serious. Even mm. though it's not a serious movie, it makes it more believable. Right. Because yeah, you would question, why am I doing this? <laughs> and, and actually there is like a little bit of social commentary on like the whole culture of prostitution. There's that woman on that talk show talking about if you legalize prostitution, right. it's better. It's subtle, but it's there. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. They make a, make a point of mentioning it. Yeah. So, if you want a really good kind of like dark horror comedy, it's a lot of fun, and you could probably watch a couple of times. I watched it twice this month already. <laughs> Definitely check out Frankenhooker if you haven't seen it. We were talking before we shot this video about like, I always remember that VHS being on the shelf and never renting it. It's right. like, that just looks so stupid. Like, why would I rent something called Frankenhooker? And if it was named something different, yeah. it might have been a little more popular, yeah. right? But after finally watching it after all these years, it's like, oh man, what have I been missing? <laughs> you know, I've been missing this for years. It's a breath of fresh air, really. Yeah. And it's it's a nice change of pace yeah. from all the dark horror movies yeah. that you start watching around this time. Exactly, right? and it's nice to see a horror comedy done with the right amount of comedy mm -hmm. and not being so completely stupid. Frank and Hooker got it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So until next time, keep drinking and hooking. <laughs>